Our next step is to do the MATLAB programming. Um, so I'm going to solve this problem in MATLAB. Um, and right, so let's pull in the MATLAB programming environment. Let's put it here in our video. And I'm going to make a new script. And I'm just going to call this new script. I'm going to call this new script. Um, uh, 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 I'll save it now. Uh, uh, I'll save it now. So, our first step is we know the crack growth rate is given by DADN is equal to C delta K to the power m. And we know m, all those were given to us, we have the values in this case. Now in this case, we're going to calculate the change in a, 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 a da as a function of a, a, a per block. Delta k to the power m um, and we, we're going to model this per block. So I'm going to solve, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to say that we have two cycles at that one, 30 cycles at that one, so n will be for this one, two cycles, and then 30 cycles, 30 cycles, that's the dn, and I'm just going to calculate delta a. So what I'm going to say is, I'm going to write this as follows, I'm going to say delta a is equal to c delta k to the power m, right, times delta n, and delta n is in this case constant, and in this case, I'm not going to model delta k every time. That will be the most accurate way to do. As we know in this case, that uh, delta k is simply equal to the positive part of sigma, so I'm going to call this delta sigma, times beta, and then, of course, times square root by a. That's, that's the equation that we have for delta k. Now let's program this in MATLAB and see how, how it looks like. Right? I'm going to put this on this side and I'm going to have my editor here. Our constant c was given in this problem. It was given as c equal to 1 e to the minus 30. That's what c was. Right? They've given m in this case, m is equal to 3. Right? Um, let's say k1c so that I can calculate the critical crack size. And K1C was given as 50 in this case. Now, I'm going to solve um, the equation at the bottom. So, I'm going to say, um, and I'm going to, uh, 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 let's first calculate critical crack size. Critical crack size in this case, um, let's say beta. Beta in this case is 1. So, critical crack size is equal to 1 over pi times um, K1C divided by sigma max. Now, what is sigma max? Sigma max is equal to, in this case, 280 MPa. 280 MPa, so we have divided by sigma max, and, of course, times beta. Now, in cases where we have a beta that changes, it was would have been no problem, we would have just had it in here. Right, now I'm going to say here while A is smaller or equal to a critical end. And that's what I'm going to program here. Um, I'm just going to say here as follows. So, A initial was given as an infinite crack is subject to the following uh, the, panel contains, the panel contains an initial through crack thickness of 2a equal to 1 millimeter. So a initial was, um, and, 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 and yeah, so I'm going to say a initial, a initial, the value for a here is equal to um, 0 0.05, no, no, 0, 0 0.05 meter. Remember, we work in meter in this case. Right. So, 
from from this we are now we can now say um, um, d a one delta a one is equal to two hundred and eighty times is equal to two hundred and eighty times c so two hundred and eighty times beta, right? That delta k times beta, beta is in this case um, 1 times square root of pi times a, right? That's what delta k1 is. Let's, let's uh, 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 keep it separate to, to, help, to help you. So this is delta k1. It's 280, that's delta sigma, times beta times square root pi a. Right? Then we can calculate delta k2. Now, I get this simply from the table above. Um, actually, I, I could have made this much simpler. I could just have said delta sigma is equal to 280, that's the stress that opens the, uh, uh, the first one, it's 280, the next stress is 140. Remember, we only work with the opening stress. And the next one is 70. Right. That's delta sigma. Now we can calculate delta k. Delta k is very simple to calculate. And remember, delta k will be a vector now. Delta k is equal to delta sigma times beta times square root uh, square root pi times a that's delta k right and the next one that we have is um, da da will also be remember we assume it stays constant per block let's just First specify delta, uh, 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 delta N, that's DN, DN is in this case 2, 30, and 30. Right, and now we can calculate DA, DA is simply equal to C times delta K square, uh, to the power M, right, that delta K times dn. Right? And then I can now calculate, uh, 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 let's call this delta a. And I can now calculate, oh no, the a is fine. I can now calculate delta a, that's the increase in crack, and that's basically the sum of these da's. Right? And I can my calculate my new crack size, a is equal to a plus Delta A, and just to have something to plot with, I'm going to say A, the crack size, crack size is 2 times A, and in this case I'm going to call it 1. And here I'm going to say I is equal to 1. And here I'm going to say I is equal to I plus 1. And then I'm going to say crack size I is equal to A. Right? Because we need crack size as a function of, of blocks. And I is calculating the blocks now. And then I can, let's see if this function runs. It should run. So I'm calculating it. Let's save it. Um, and let's save this one as... as Crack growth 
assignment. Good. Sorry, this is point times dn. Good, and let's see if it runs. And it seems as if it's running now. And what I'm going to do now is going to plot the results. So here I'm going to say plot for me. Um, I, oh, basically crack size. Give it in millimeter and then let's multiply this by 1000 to get it in millimeter. And um, of course, I'm interested in I, and it seems as if we have 915,000 blocks, 915,000 blocks, and now I can just copy this into this window and I can plot it, and there we have it. There's our crack size as a function of time, and we can see it took us about 900,000 cycles to grow to 10 millimeter. I trust that this gives you a good idea how to carry out this calculation. You can see the total time for this problem is question is only about about 20 minutes, including my video time. So um, in the next video, I, I if you wish, I can also record one to show you how to do this in Excel, although Excel can't show you 920,000 cycles, 920,000 lines, so it's difficult to do that one per block. So there we will assume that the, the crack size stays constant for about 10,000 uh, blocks, um, and you could have easier done it in this case. Um, if you want to model it in this case, you could also say, right, let's assume that it says that I is now, uh, let's say, the uh, N blocks, where it stays constant is, let's say, 10,000. You can do that. And then you can say that, um, in this case, we plot, uh, 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 um, I'll show you now how to, to show the blocks. And when we calculate, calculate the DA, we just multiply it by that N blocks. And then if we run this one, we get an answer that looks as follows. And I, in this case, is equal to 95. And here you can see, if you take 95, and you, sorry, uh, let me show you the window. Uh, you can see it, it solved it. And if I now show what I is, it says 95,000. Previous time it was 915,000. So it's 95, but you, that you must multiply now by that 10,000 to get um, the number of uh, uh, total blocks um, uh, until, until failure. I think you get the difference.